Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Ha Rakakwadash Ma'amap. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well and teach well. Double honors to my elders well, Aharwan Ban Yashrala of the Lions Den Camp. And salutations to the fellow Akim, Awafim, and children that believe in truth and in sincerity. It's your brother, I thank Allah back to you another lesson in Yaharatazah's edifying. <clears throat> just um got a couple of scriptures lined up. All right. Um just meditating through the spirit. All right. And and uh on this song that's out here today, all right, uh get it back in blood, man. And ultimately, you know, Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai is coming back to get it in blood, man. He's coming to get it back in blood, man. You know? And this is Psalms 9 and 9. The Lord also will be a refuge for the oppressed. A refuge in times of trouble. And they that know thy name will put their trust in thee. So those who trust on the Lord ultimately know his name, you know, and ultimately they calling upon the Lord, you know, hasting the day of the Lord, you know, for that day, a that that uh, a uh, he render he rise up to the prey, man, you know, the oppressor, you know, he rise up to the oppressor, man. You know, and he'd be a refuge to those who no longer wants to be oppressed. <clears throat> for thou, and this is back in verse 10. For thou, Lord, Yahweh Wah, Yahweh Shai, has not forsaken them that seek thee. Right, his, his word is not going to come back void. He's not going to uh, forget your labor of love, man. You know, he says, uh, through a grain of mustard seed, uh, 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 your faith, uh, as small as a, 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 a the size of a mustard seed, man. You know, that's all you need, man. And and, and 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 he will he will protect and guide you along the way, man. You know. Verse 11, sing praise to the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, which dwelleth in Zion. Declare among the people his doings. You know, and that's what we're doing today. We're declaring the people his doings. And ultimately what he's coming to do, you know. And that's not uh to, to gather everybody and all be all lovey-dovey, man. He's coming to get it back in blood, so to speak. <clears throat> Verse 12, when he maketh inqu inquisition for blood, he remembereth them. He forgetteth not the cry of the humble. You know, he's not going to forget the cry of the humble, man. You know, as we cry in Zion, as Abel cried inside uh, against Cain, man. And his vile acts and his vile doings. All right. You know, so a hey, sing praises to the Lord, man, which dwell in Zion, man, because he deals with no other nation, you know. And he's coming to make inquisition for blood, man, because these people, all right, these the, these wicked nations, the heathen, all right, particularly the ambassador of the heathen, the nation of Edom, all right, which will uh, represent the, uh, the so-called Caucasian race. All right. And these other heathens, these other nations. All right. And two thirds of our people, two thirds of the so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans that aid in the bed and go against the Lord, man. And aid in the bed, this, these heathens, man, you know, the Lord, hey, they, they shed innocent blood, man. And ultimately their blood has to be shed. And the Lord is, is getting ready to make inquisition for blood. You know, from there, I want to go to Psalms 68. It's lucky. And I'll start at verse 21. And it reads, But Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai shall wound the head of his enemies, and the hairy scalp of such and one as goeth on still in his trespass. Two thirds of our people, man. Because they want to continue on in the ways of, of their oppressor, man. You know, they want to continue to crucify the Lord afresh daily, man, and trespass against the, the Lord, man. Verse 22, the Lord said, I will bring again from Bashan. I will bring my people again from the depths of the sea. Right. Because the Lord is getting ready to return, return and redeem the remnant of his people, man. That cluster of the grapes, man. That select few that 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 are not going to be of this society, man. Not going to be of this world, man. That's going to have faith. All right. In him. Verse 23, that thy foot may be dipped in the blood of thine enemies, in the tongue of thy dogs, in the same. 
You know, you know, we waiting and hasting on that that day that the Lord rise up to the prey, man, for that swift judgment, you know, and put them in their proper position, man. You know, uh, servants and handmaids, man. You know. From there, I want to go to Psalms 79. And I'll start at verse 1. O Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah, all right, O power, the heathen are come into thine inheritance. Thy holy temple have they defiled. They have laid Jerusalem on heaps. The dead bodies of thy servants have they given to be meat unto the fowls of the he heaven. The flesh of thy saints unto the beasts of the earth. Their blood have they shed like water round about Jerusalem. And there was none to bury them, man. Hey, right. You know, they suffer not to put their body in graves, man. You know. They cause, they cause our people to go off and, and transgress against the Lord, man. Due to the deceit, the deception, and, and, and what they dealt our people, man. What they taught our people, you know, by stripping away our... our, our our culture, all right, and giving and giving us and, and beating us and enslaving us into something wayward, you know, you know, something that the Lord is is against, all right, and, you know, ultimately to bring as many people of, of the nation of Israel, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, hey, to bring as many of, of our people down with them, man, because the Lord don't deal with them, and the Lord ultimately is going to render judgment upon their nation as a whole, man, you know. You know, the jealousy of the heathen, you know. So that's why they co conspired against the nation of Israel, man. You know, and they shed that innocent blood against the nation of Israel. You know, that, that Psalms 83, you know, that crafty counsel. You know, so it's the Lord speaking and saying, hey, their, their blood have they shed like water around, around about Jerusalem, man. You know, and this is uh, a Psalm of Asaph. All right. All right. And, uh. Just crying out to the Lord, man, you know, just as Abel cried out, man, you know, after Cain vow act and vow doings, man, as stated earlier in, in, in the lesson, man, you know, and that's what we do out there on the highways and byways, all right, standing boldly, all right, as uh, Wisdom of Solomon chapter five states, you know, in, in the face of those who, who afflicted us, man, you know. And made no account for our labors, you know, roughly paraphrasing. All right. So we're, we're, we're crying and sighing, you know, hastening the, the coming of the day of, of the Lord for him to get it back in blood, man. Because we know what's written in the scriptures, man. You know, th them who shed innocent blood, their blood has to be shed, man. You know, and the Lord, the Lord is not a liar. All right. So the Lord is, is coming back to get it in blood, man. He's sending his son, Yahweh Shai, and those host of angels to get it back in blood, man. You know. I'm going to jump down to verse 10. Wherefore should the heathen say, where is their God? Right. Where is their power? Let him be known among the heathen in our sight by the revenging of the blood of thy servants, which is shed. Right. You know, they trying the Lord, thinking the Lord ain't going to come and render judgment upon his people, man. The innocent blood that they have shed among his people, man. You know? Thinking the Lord ain't going to come and make inquisition, you know, he stated he's coming to make inquisition, man, you know, but the heathen, you know, pertaining to Psoms 49 and 11 think that hey, they inward thought is that their houses go continue forever, man. You know, they think that the Lord uh, gave us up and gave us up into their hands for their benefit, you know. From now, I want to go to Isaiah 4 and 4. And this is Isaiah 4 and 4, when the Lord shall have washed away the filth of the daughters of Zion and shall have purged the blood of Jerusalem from the midst thereof by the spirit of judgment. Right. You know, that spirit of judgment, man. You know, as Yahweh Shai, he's coming back in that glorious form, man, that glorified body, that glorified form, man. You, he's not going to meet thee as a man, man, roughly paraphrasing. And he's coming with great glory and he's coming with judgment, man, you know. 
to render that cup onto who it's supposed to be uh, rendered to, man. He's, he's go he go pour it uh, without measure, without mixture. The scriptures say, man, you know. This is Isaiah thirty four and one. Come near, ye nations, to hear, and hearken, ye people. Let the earth hear, and all that is therein, the world, and all things that come forth of it. So let everybody hear, man, throughout the four corners of the earth, this sea of people, all right? All these nations, man, all these uh, families of the earth, let them come together, hearken, and understand what the Lord is coming to do, man, you know? Verse 2, for the indignation of the Lord is upon all nations, and his fury upon all their enemies. Their armies, Salaki, their armies. He have utterly destroyed them. He have delivered them to the slaughter. You know, and it's already written. You know, and that's what he's doing now. What in the Valley of Kidron? All right, Yahweh Shapat. All right, Yahweh's judgment, man. Well, he's riling up these nations ultimately to uh, gather up in, 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 in the fight against the, the Lord, man, and the angels, man. You know. Setting them up for their they 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 uh the the lose lose man, you know. Verse three: Their slain also shall be cast out, and their stink shall come up out of their carcasses, and the mountains shall be melted with their blood, man. You know, there's blood again. You know. For my sword shall be bathed in heaven. Behold, it shall come down upon Adumia, man. And Adumia today will represent America, man. All right? America would be Adumia today, man. You know? Basra. Edom. The land of Edom. You know? Sodom. Places where the Lord has rendered judgment, man. You know? But, hey, when it comes to uh, his, the, love of his, the love of his people, man. You know, the jealousy and the love that he has for his people, man. The so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. The apple of his eye. You know, and those swords will be bathed in heaven, man. You know, and those swords being those ICBM missiles are going to uh, touch, hey, go to heaven first, man, via satellites. And then come down, man, and, and put forth destruction, man. You know, that's that spiritual warfare that's being... Uh, that's going to come into play, man. That's going to be manifested and come to pass, man. Those ICBM missiles, man, that's going to have the spirit of the Lord in them, man. Via Yahweh Shai and the angels, man. You know, Yahweh Shai is uh, backed by the archangel Michael, man, meaning God-like power, man. You know? Verse 6, the sword of the Lord is filled with blood. It is made fat with fatness and the blood of lambs and goats with the fat of the kidneys of rams. For the Lord have a sacrifice in Basra and a great slaughter in the land of Idumia, man. Right. And America is the modern day Basra, the modern day Idumia, you know, and this is a, a altar, man, where the Lord is going to make the biggest sacrifice of all, man. You know, like never before when it comes to the judgment, you know, with, with fervent heat and fire, man. You know, as he promised not to destroy the earth with water, but it's going to come with fire. You know, and we in these times, man, as these nations are playing with ICBM missiles, man. You know, nuclear uh, uh, warfare, you know, which is all the instrument of the Lord, man. You know, as he created the smith that blew up the coals, all right? But from there, I want to go to Ezekiel 28 to get back on the point, man, of how hey, the Lord... Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai and the host of angels, man, they're coming to get it back in blood. This is Ezekiel 28 and 23. For I will send into her pestilence and blood into her streets, and the wounded shall be judged in the midst of her by the sword upon her on every side. And they shall know that I am the Lord, man. Yahweh, why Shem Yahweh Shai, man. You go know that, hey, the Lord. Hey, you're going to know the power and the, the spirit of the Lord, man. It's the spirit of the Lord that's going to be poured amongst all flesh, man. You know? But when that judgment come, man, hey, hey, those who didn't believe is sure as hell go believe in that day. This is back in Isaiah 63 
in verse one, who is who is this that cometh from Edom with dyed garments from Basra? This that is glorious in his apparel, traveling in the greatness of his strength. I that speak in righteousness, mighty to save, man. And this is speaking on Yahweh Shai, man, our Lord and Savior that's coming to redeem and get it back in blood, man. And you know, those, those that, that, that died, those died that, that with dyed garments from Basra, man. You know. From now I want to go uh to Joel 3 and 19. It's Joel 3 and 19. Egypt shall be a desolation, and Edom shall be a desolate wilderness for the violence against the children of Judah because they have shed innocent blood in their land. But Judah shall dwell forever in Jerusalem from generation to generation, man. That's that eternal life that ultimately is promised to our forefathers that's hey, going to uh, transpire, man. It's going to come into fruition of everlasting life, you know, the kingdom, all right, the glory, man. You know, of the nation of Israel, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. But as for these heathens, all right, and particularly the ambassador of the heathen, the nation of Edom, he's going to be wasted away, all right? As Esau means, wasted away is he, all right? Verse 21, back in Joel 3 and 21, For I will cleanse their blood that I have not cleansed, for the Lord dwelleth in Zion, man, because he loved Jacob and hateth Esau, all right? So Esau is eventually going to become a desolate wilderness, man, you know, you know, and the Lord is not going to cleanse their blood. You know, he's going to uh, shed their blood, man, so the land could be cleansed, but he's going to cleanse the nation of Israel blood. All right. By a putting them to death on this side, pertaining to two thirds of our people, that's not going to get right and bring them through the loins of the elect. And they're going to be righteous in the kingdom, man. You know, their blood is going to be cleansed, man. They're going to live forever. All right. And uh, I'm going to end off with Psalms 58 and 10, and that'll be my last scripture. And this is Psalms 58. And 10, and it reads, the righteous shall rejoice when he seeth the vengeance. He shall wash his feet in the blood of the wicked. So that a man shall say, verily, there is a reward for the righteous. Verily, he is a God that judgeth in the earth. Right, man. He's a just power, man. He's a just God, you know, that's going to judge righteously. So hey, all the wickedness that's been uh, untouched, all right, or may seem to be untouched, it is going to eventually be met, you know, with, with judgment. You know, the blood that's the innocent blood that's been shed, you know, ultimately that blood is going to be shed, man, because the, the Lord, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai is coming back to get it in blood, man, you know, and, 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 the, and the render righteous judgment, you know, thus saith the Lord, man. And um, Yahweh Ratzazah, this uh, lesson was edifying. I want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son and the Holy Spirit of truth. Call Halayim La, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim. Ha, Rakak, Wadash, Ma'amath. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Double honors to my elders as well. Aharwan Banyasharala of the Lion's Den Camp, who all rule well and teach well. And salutations to the fellow Akim, Awafim, and children that believe in truth and in sincerity. Shalawam and DTA.